Hello, this video will give directions on extracting the information of the new contacts that have been created on Erxus into Google Sheets by using Intergramat. First of all, you need to, re you need to register yourself on Intergramat. The second step should be creating a new scenario. Thirdly, webhooks should be written on the search engine since it will help to copy the information of the new contacts that has been registered on Erxus into Google Sheets. The option Custom Webhooks should be chosen, and then you should name the webhook as Erxus Webhook or however you want. As soon as you create the webhook, you'll have the link of the webhook that was created. This webhook will be receiving data, which is a crucial part of the scenario. Therefore, the link should be copied. Afterwards, you should go to, go to your access, settings, outgoing webhooks, add a new webhook, and the link should be copied above. There are different types of actions, and since we're trying to track the customers that have created accounts, we're choosing the option called Customer Created. Make sure you save it. For now, the webhook doesn't, doesn't know which data it's get, collecting. Therefore, we should click the option Run It Once. As you can see, it's loading since it's, a, since it's getting rate ready to collect collect the data. Afterwards, you should go to Erxis Contacts Add Customer. You can test it out by creating random first and last names. For example, I'm giving random names, email, and phone numbers just to see whether the, the webhook will register accordingly. The next step is to save it. As you can see, a new data has already been created we know this by looking at the looking at the number ab um, above the webhook logo. Furthermore, the received data should be created into JSON as well, and specifically, parse JSON should be chosen. Since our goal is to collect the data of the new customers, the first option data should be chosen in the JSON string field. In this box, which is called JSON string. Option data should be chosen, which is located on, on, on the top of the strings. To make sure everything is running correctly, run once must be pressed. Moreover, in order to test it out, a hypothetical new customer is being created again. Please note that before creating a new customer, you have to press run, month, run once. A new customer is being created is being created um, test two since it's just a test. Hold on, hold on for a few seconds. As you can see, the JSON has been successfully created since the finalization has been finished. In addition, the JSON that has been parsed should be extracted to Google Sheets. In order to do this, just search Google Sheets in the search engine. As we can see, there's an option for Google Sheets. After choosing Google Sheets, Add Row must be selected since we want the information of the new customers that have been created. Along with this, you should also link your Google account you just need to wait a few seconds until your Google account gets linked. In this way, you're allowing Integromat to have access into your Google Sheets. In addition, you'll have options to select from the Google Sheets you have. In our case, it will be Erxis customers. In the previous steps, we've selected Parse JSON, which is now allowing you to collect specific information of the new customers, including first name, last name, email and phone number. You can select the attributes you want to collect. As you can see, I'm, I'm filling the form since I want to collect the first name, last name, primary email, um, and primary phone number as well. Select the op the option to run it once in order to check everything is run running correctly. In addition, to finalize our checkup, a new customer has to be created.
hold on for a few seconds until the customer is being created. As we can see, the process has been completed correctly since there no since there's no error. We know this because um, once you click the logo of the webhook or web webhook, the finalization is um, ticked. In order to um, in order to save this integration, schedule setting has to be selected, and the option immediately should be chosen. This means whenever a new customer has been created, the data will be extracted immediately into Google Sheets. Let's check whether the scenario is, is saved. As you can see, the scenario is saved. Um, and finally, let's create a new customer in order to see whether our integration is working correctly. The customer will be named John Doe. And if it's, if it's working, you'll have the name of the customer into the Google Sheet. As we can see, it's, it's all correct.